Are you wondering where everybody gets their supplies from? Well, you can find a surprising amount of stuff at your local dollar store. Here's a couple of finds that you will love. Hey friends, it's Kristen with Shifting Roots and today I wanted to share with you some must have finds that you can buy as a flower farmer when you're just in the trying it out stage. So I was recently at our local dollar store and I was surprised at all of the stuff that I was able to source to help me out in my little flower farming business. So I'm just gonna go through everything for you here, give you some ideas and you might be able to find some stuff at your own dollar store where you live. So the first was these beautiful cream buckets. Now, little secret, on the other side, they actually say things. But I think at some point I might get a vinyl sticker put over them, but for now, I just put them this way. They look totally gorgeous. I've also purchased some gray metallic ones, and you can see that right here. They're just as beautiful as these ones, but I thought I would have different ones for at my mom's garden where I'm currently standing here talking to you. Uh, you'll see some other videos about my secret garden tour and I do a little bit of gardening here so I have a bit of a backup in case some of my stuff doesn't bloom. Anyway, next thing. Next, I was able to pick up this cute little can and I thought this would be great for things with tall stems like delphiniums or maybe a sunflower arrangement. I'm not necessarily going to sell this can but I think for photos and as a prop this is beautiful. If you wrap up your arrangements in craft paper this little roll of craft paper for only two dollars was a great little find especially since I'm not sure if craft paper is the way I want to go so I can test it out for two bucks and no big deal. So most of my arrangements thus far have been in mason jars and I've got to say um, this is actually not the best price for mason jars. You're much better to buy just a small pack of 12 instead and you'll get a better price. I'm always looking for my containers to be under a dollar per vessel but it's not always possible. These ones were $1.25 but I thought I would just grab them anyway because maybe how you're doing your business you don't need a bunch of these you don't need a thing of 12 and just one or two jars at a time is great so it's an option I also thought it might be fun to try arrangements in these cute little buckets so there's actually two different varieties I got this one with the handle of course and then these ones that are just plain no handle We'll just see if that sells, switch it up, something different. For bridal bouquets, I was really excited to find this gorgeous lace. It comes in cream, it comes in white. Now at your dollar store, you might not have this exact thing, but the price of lace felt pretty reasonable at the dollar store, although it was harder finding the wider width of band for the colors. It was usually a little bit shorter, like about inch and a bit, which I prefer thicker ribbon for my wedding work. Then this fun curling ribbon, what I like to do is I like to put a little bit of curling ribbon around these mason jars and attach my gift card. Um, I know most people use twine, but I want to be a little bit different from all the other flower farmers because that's the thing when there's so much competition, we just all start to look the same. So if there's something little I can do that makes me stand out from another flower farmer, I'm going to try it. And finally, I thought this adorable menu would be really cute for when I have my sales. So I could write like small $15, large $30 or 25 or whatever I'm selling it as. And it would just look adorable in pictures on this. And at some point, if I ever go to a show or a fair or something and have my flowers for sale, then this sign would be really helpful as well. And for only $4, this was a complete steal. I also forgot to mention that you can get ranunculus corms, which I have this video up here about my experience with it. You can sometimes get small glad corms. There's also a small selection of flower seeds there. Now the only disadvantage is you don't get to pick very much like what variety you would like. Selection's pretty poor, but again, if you're just in the trying it out phase, need to save a little bit of money, then maybe dollar store seeds are for you. Every week or so during the summer, I'm documenting my journey as a first year cut flower grower who's actually growing my flowers for sale. So you can check that out in the Backyard Business playlist. I will link it and here's a little picture of what it looks like.
Thanks so much for joining me today. If you're also interested in starting a small backyard cut flower business, I have the ultimate cut flower bundle, which will, which will get you started. Or you can even just learn about growing flowers with cut flowers made simple. In October, I'm coming out with a more complicated plan. So you can also wait for that. If you also live in a cold climate with a short growing season, you'll definitely want to hit the subscribe button, notification bell. You know the drill. Every day I show up on Instagram and Facebook showing you exactly what I'm doing in my garden in real time. All right, we'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.